choose your warrior choose same rules as last time for those of you who uh were here last time oh wait are we going we're going live hang on i can't tell if people can hear me yet or not oh it's because i always have to watch my own ads because i always accidentally monetize my live streams there we go so let's make sure we can see everything oh fantastic fantastic all right hang on i gotta turn the baby monitor up <clears throat> that's important choose your warriors ladies and gentlemen putting some other knives away we have 15 minutes before the game begins if you are new fear not there are rules laid out for you to read and follow. Hang on, I promise I'll read comments here in just a sec. I'm just, I, I had a hard time deciding what knives I wanted to do for this because we will not be deciding on a scenario until 9.15. Why? Because I want people to choose their knives, choose their warriors before we decide on a scenario because that way it's completely random and it makes it more fun. I know everybody has, uh, well, I'm sure at least a few of you have some exciting ideas for ridiculous scenarios. Um, I had a bunch written down and now I can only remember one, but I have a pretty good idea of what I'd like to do. Okay, hang on guys, I'm almost there, almost. Uh, I need to borrow one for a moment. Uh, for those of you in here, I will go over the names of some of these here in just a moment because we have some weird ones. <laughs> yeah, you can expect Rainbow Lady to always be in these uh, live streams. Always, 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 always. Super Chat is up. All donations are going towards my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, which, um, not to not to sound flexy or anything like that. Uh oh, are we are we lagging? Are we lagging here? Uh, what's up? Uh, can anybody tell? No, we're not lagging. We're just buffering. Um, by the way, the stickers are the prizes. So anybody who guesses, you know, anybody's knife, whoever's knife is left over at the end, if you are, if you comment within the 15 minute mark, remember there is a cutoff after 15 minutes, no, no comments, no entries count. So if you comment within that 15 minute period, it counts, right? Uh, hey guys, hang on one sec. I just realized I do not have the power supply for the baby monitor and that's very important. So everybody talk amongst yourselves i will be back in a moment inform inform newcomers i'll be back Okay, I'm back. Let me plug her in real quick here. For any newcomers, make sure that you are, if you are able to, heading over to Instagram and uh, leaving your comments there for entry. It's a good idea because that's the only way you can leave an entry. Uh, where am I going to plug this in at? It's not even making sense. I am pretty excited to hear everybody's scenarios. Once we have about five minutes to go, I'll start collecting scenarios. And for those of you who are like, what do you mean scenario? What is it that I'm supposed to be coming up with? And by the way, I can't see the comment section. So if you're, if you're yelling at me, I can't see it yet because I'm trying to plug this stuff in. This game has no rules. It has no logic. It is not to be taken seriously. You can come up with any scenario for any reason you want. Your reasons for convincing me to keep your selection on the table can be based on logic or nonsense. It doesn't matter. 
You basically just have to win me over in the moment, which will become increasingly more random because I will be hydrating tonight. Hello, hello Neves Knives. I'm so glad you're in here. Ohio Knife Lover, awesome. Kyle Roberts is in here. John Duncan is in here. Lindy Lou is in here. We have a superstar cast of commenters, absolutely. Yeah, my internet's being crappy too. Mm. Let's go over the knives. Uh, we have the um, prototype, very new, it's like a 99% prototype. Uh, this is the Arcane Design Necronaut, which is just, uh, it's just such, it's so like off the radar for me in terms of a design, but it's so well made. I'm very much enjoying that. Uh, we have the Spyderco Para 3 in Maximate, which will play a role tonight. Make sure that you understand that this Para 3 is in Maximate, and you can use that as leverage to convince me to keep it on the table or to eliminate it. We have the Guardian Tactical Recon 35 OTF. We have, of course, Her Majesty the Rainbow Lady of the Sea. We have the uh, Curtis Knives ODT, which is about the size of a dog tag when it's folded up. We have a Robert Carter Custom that is extremely unique and extremely rare, which is why it has more space than anything else. Um, and I forget the name of it, but Ryan, if he ever comes in here, will be able to clarify. We have the Jim Skelton Custom Hellraiser V2, which is a fixed blade. Uh, we have the Hinderer Full Track and the Dalica. No, you haven't missed anything. Just me plugging in the baby monitor, which I've already lost. Here it is. Okay. Is everybody thinking of um, scenarios? I'm trying. Here's the problem. I loaded all of the scenarios I came up with in the last two weeks on my phone, and then I started hydrating, and then I now I can only remember one, and I can't check my phone now because it'll screw up the live stream. <laughs> you bet, huh, Shaker? There we go. My stupid. You know what sucks? Have you guys ever been watching one of my reviews and all of a sudden you hear a humming in the background? That's because I'm right next to the furnace and the water cooler down here in the dungeon. Um, or the water heater or whatever it does. Oh boy. Okay, so. Let me think. What hit, What are my other... I have one really, really good one. But... Uh, oh yeah, no, I remember two of them. I remember two of them. Can, do you guys want to know my scenarios or do you want to wait until the five minute mark. I suppose I should ask. There's not a whole lot of people in here and that's fine. Um, I should ask, does is, does anybody have any questions? Because we are approaching, what time is it even? This stupid Mac, like, tell me the time all the time. There it is, 9.08. We got two minutes till the five minute mark. At the five minute mark, you guys can start throwing scenarios at me. You wanna know mine? Okay. I got two. Here's my first one. The first one's completely random. The second one has some logic to it. They're both they're both based based on uh, fictitious, fictitional, fictitious, fictitional. What the f? Did I just say fictitional? Fictitious. They're both based on fictitious situations. My God. Um, it's okay if you don't have Instagram. That's the only way I can do it right now. Okay. So, anyways, um, circumstance. Or here's a here's scenario one. Um, me or you, however you imagine the scenario, and Tom Cruise are being forced back to the Triassic period. You have to survive for one month, and you each get a knife, but you have to agree on a knife. It has to be the exact same knife. Don't I, I don't know why, Tom Cruise. I just remembered my third scenario that I want to do, but that's, that's what I've chosen, okay? Don't question it. That's what it is. Second scenario, not that crazy, but also based on a fictitious situation. You are in the Hunger Games. How did you get there? Why are you there? I don't know. It doesn't matter. You're there. You run up. You, you choose to run towards all the containers. For those of you who haven't seen Hunger Games, it's going to kind of suck. But if you have seen it, you're going to understand. You run towards all the crates, all the, the containers, right? You open up a container, and it contains all of these knives. But you can only choose one. That's my second scenario. Third scenario, um, it, all of these are based on uh, weird uh, action science fiction movies. Third scenario, I feel like you guys will find this interesting because I feel like no... What's up, Alex? I feel like nobody has ever talked about this. 
Um, in, uh, uh, in Avengers Infinity War, I think it was in Infinity War, when um, Thanos first, uh, first interacted with Gamora as a child, right, to calm her down from basically watching the e- extinction of half of her planet, right? <laughs> That's not funny. Well, it is funny. It's a fictitious situation. Um, to calm her down, he pulls out a double-sided single action automatic knife which makes no sense right right he pulls this out and he goes look perfectly balanced as all things should be and then he gives it to her super dangerous thing to give to a child right doesn't matter the problem here is is he clearly gave away his edc knife which knife should be uh replacing this double sided single action otf for thanos in his conquest to uh, acquire all of the Infinity Stones and eradicate half of existence in the universe. Um, yes, I put a lot of detail into that one because that's my favorite one. Um, Thanos EDC, there you go. Muhammad Amar basically paraphrasing. Like, redu- he's like, okay, Complex is going to like blab on and make it really intricate and try and make himself sound really smart, but it's essentially Thanos EDC. Yes, Thanos EDC is my um, third scenario. So, we are officially at the, well, actually, we've got four minutes left, so everybody shout out your scenarios, and we can all vote. We don't have to do one of mine. We'll do whatever's most popular based on how quickly I can read the comment. It's still based on how quickly I can interpret the, co- the, interpret the comment section, so um, Thanos would rock a full track for sure. <laughs> oh, everybody's, I, I hope you guys are thinking of it. That's the one I want to win. Best knife to fight with during the zombie apocalypse alongside Deadpool in the New York subway tunnels while singing the theme from West Side Story. Dear Lord, that is very specific. Oh, that's going to be difficult as the night progresses. Remember, you have exactly one hour. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candidates, each one being eliminated every five minutes based on whatever I feel like eliminating because you guys are going to try and convince me. Um, let's see here. Um, best way to cut yourself out of a mafia trunk. <laughs> um, that's kind of funny. Uh, the knife on top should be Tanthos. Hmm. Um, if that Dalika lasts more than one round, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's always a bummer. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Best DDC for a visit to the zoo after the zombie apocalypse. Ooh, yikes. That's yucky. Um, John and News, I think you've convinced me. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Everybody just collect your votes. There's only a limited discussion that can happen with that. There's all, Technically, there's a limited and infinite discussion that can happen with any topic. However, I want everybody con- to consider all these scenarios, you know, in, in a limitless setting because, again, this isn't based on logic, so it should be limitless no matter what. Uh, best knife to fight off a space invasion with aliens with tentacles. Hmm. We did robots last time, but I suppose it's organic material versus inorganic material, so that that is different. Best knife to fight Lynn Thompson to the death in an Oklahoma <laughs> Oh my god! Best knife to fight Lynn, Lynn Thompson to the death in an Oklahoma Walmart parking lot. That makes me laugh really, really hard, but I don't want to incentivize murder, as uh, as Andy would say from The Office. So while that's really, really funny uh, in a hypothetical scenario, I, I feel like I could get in trouble for making that the topic. God, that was from Zell. Zell's my local buddy. Thanks for that one, buddy. You really made me laugh there. Uh, best way to get out of a tactical situation, but you're around your child's teachers and principals, so you need to keep it very low profile. <laughs> oh my God. What, what do you mean by tactical situation? The definition is what is, what's scary there. Um, best night to fight off Jaws. Yeah, that's, would be a huge problem. Uh, government takes over and you can only have one knife, any knife. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. It's that that makes my mind go in a million different directions. Uh, best knife for piracy on the high seas. That is also interesting. Piracy. Hmm. I feel like it would need to be a scimitar clip point, right? Because that's how pirates are depicted in Disney movies. It's nine fifteen. 
Everybody shout out your vote. Here's here's my vote for of the three from mine. This is my vote, Thanos EDC. Everybody just start shouting out what you're voting for. There's only 38 of us in here, which is completely fine. I don't care. Everybody shout out what it is that you are interested in doing because it's time to pick a scenario. Um, did everybody vote? If you didn't vote, get your vote in because you got one minute before it cuts off. And yes, I know when to cut it off because everything's time stamped. We have, no, don't vote for your knives. You vote for your knives on Instagram. We're voting for scenarios here. Um, Thanos, Thanos, Thanos. Hinder Lynn Thompson at Walmart. <laughs> I'm going to remember that forever. New York Subway, Thanos, Thanos, Thanos. Fine. It's, guys, I mean, I feel like it's unfair because I have such leverage because I'm the one that's yelling and nobody else can, um, you know, nobody else has a loud voice as me because I'm the only voice. But it sounds like, I, I mean, Lynn Thompson is in second place, but uh, I think Thanos EDC, it seems like Thanos versus Lynn Thompson. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. I'm going to die. Okay, Thanos. Are we in agreement? Thanos EDC, what knife should Thanos replace his twin-sided single-action uh, switchblade with? Uh, that, that's what we're going to agree with? Okay. So, again, if you're going to, listen, I'll give you guys like one more minute, right? I can extend this as long as I want. You got one more minute. If you want to vote for a knife, you don't do it here. You got to go to my Instagram and, and go follow the instructions. It's all right here. Go to my Instagram, find the um, post about elimination, and you have to leave your vote underneath there, okay? Uh, I'm going to give everybody about two minutes here. But I am going to be, actually, that's meaningless because at 9.20, it's 9.17 right now, at 9.20, I'm going to be eliminating a knife, okay? So you guys start <laughs> convincing me. I've already got my eyes on something that makes no sense uh, for Thanos to EDC in either logical or illogical circumstances. Remember, you do not have to use logic to convince me. Going back to the future in a DeLorean to the Stone Age, all the Neanderthals are zombies. <laughs> it's funny, but I... <laughs> also strange. Just get rid of that Dalka. Nobody's going to try and convince me why Thanos wouldn't carry this, or why, why he would. Nobody's going to vote for this guy. Nobody's going to come up with a situation to try and force me to force hypothetical... Thanos to EDC the Dalika. What's so wrong about the Dalika? Why can't it? We're talking about a fictitious universe, right? Dalika would melt in his hand. Okay, that's a vote against the Dalika. Thanos would be insulted if you handed him that mermaid. That's definitely true. Though Thanos is very colorful. I feel like the vast majority in terms of color for the rainbow mermaid is purple. And Thanos is pretty purple. Thanos doesn't like FRN. You're right. Uh, I'm going to guess that also Thanos likes things that are sharp, and this is not going to do it. I still question, why is, why was Thanos carrying such a weird, like, it was so thick, I mean, like, thinking it from, like, a knife reviewer's perspective, that knife that he was carrying around in his pocket, number one, it was way too small for him, number two, it, it was twin spring-loaded blades, right? And, yeah, that's true, the ODT would be a Tic Tac for Thanos. That's kind of what I was thinking is it's so small, right? I mean, it's just insane. Yeah, huge chance we need something bigger than the Dalika and the ODT. Giant paws are all over the place. Here's the problem. The ODT is sharp but super small. The, Del the Dalika is super small but it's not sharp. Got the Boker Kalashnikov CTS XHP for Christmas and I love it. It has no blade play and overall really good. Yes, absolutely. The Dalika is Lynn Thompson's only weakness. So Thanos needs it to beat him at Walmart. <laughs> I like how we have this hybridized scenario that's just like going, like people are going to force it to be the case. Like somehow Lynn Thompson has to be involved with this. <laughs> yeah, mom, it kind of does win. I feel like we, is there like a crown or a scepter that we can bestow upon him? Because that, that was a pretty epic comment. 919, I feel like I have my pick unless I see an overwhelming comment in favor or against a certain knife. Hmm. Hmm. Wouldn't even be able to open the ODT like at all. Yeah, I have a problem sometimes opening the ODT. <laughs> oh boy. I, these are these are so weird, but so much fun for me. Even if there was, 
like legitimately, if there was if there were five people in here, I would still do this. Mm, Nine twenty, guys. I'm getting rid of the Dalika. I'm sorry if you voted for the Dalika, but I mean, I, I want to put it in there because I keep waiting for somebody to give me like an insanely logical argument for the Dalika. Like when I say logical, I mean illogical, of course. Um, but somebody for to be ultra convincing and sadly it's just um it's there's there's no fantasy situation where that thing comes out on top that's how bad it is poor kefir um but uh yeah the dalek is going down did anybody uh justin did you vote for the <laughs> did you vote for the dalek with the minecraft uh death sound effect or the minecraft damage taken sound effect there uh crazy loose flip floppity danger <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Take on a 44-ounce porterhouse in 20 minutes or you'll be put in a room with Buffalo Bill. It puts the lotion on the skin. Yikes. I should probably remove these because we've already come up with a scenario. That was a horrifying scenario, but uh, my fault because I didn't clear them. Let's put the remainder of the competitors up here for everyone to see, right? You got five minutes. Everybody has picked their warriors. You've chosen your warriors. Sorry, I'm like really close to the camera and like yelling into it. Um, I'm watching myself in the past on the uh, computer. Actually, here's here's what I do. I just use my phone. I don't watch my phone when I do this. I watch the computer, which is showing me in the past because the live stream is lagging. So here's what we've got. This is what we have left, and here are the prizes. You have a chance to win one of three Metal Complex Knight Helmet stickers if you have chosen correctly. The winners will be announced tomorrow on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, sorry. And if you're arriving late, unfortunately, the only way for you to play... You can't win anything if you're arriving late because it has to be within the first 10 minutes. But you can still just, for fun, you can pick one of these guys and try and convince me one way or another to choose... Uh, or to not eliminate one from the table for reasons completely beyond logic. Guys, we're at 9.22. In three minutes, I will be eliminating a knife. For those of you who don't know what's going on, the topic is Thanos' new EDC because he gave away his old EDC to Gamora. If you guys the automatic knife that he handed off to Gamora to console her while she, while she watched half of her civilization perish. Um... ODT is a toothpick for Thanos ODT. Yeah, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm leaning towards the ODT because I can't imagine. Like, my hand, I don't, I don't have the biggest hand in the world, but I have a, a little larger than, than normal size hands. Right? My dad has freaking huge hands. You guys want to see how big my dad's hands are? Go back and watch my Christmas special where I handed my dad the Rainbow Lady, and he was like, oh, yeah, I remember, you know, you telling me about this. And he, that guy has some monkey paws for sure. His hands are huge huge oh my gosh anyways um thanos's hands are like 40 times the size of mine or my dad's i don't know how he could operate the odt but if you voted for the odt best bit get to convince him um magical lady of the sea needs to stay she's the only match for lynn <laughs> it's so weird that lynn thompson's in just is forcibly involved in this. Like he just, you guys have decided that he has to be involved in this. <laughs> Zell made that happen. Oh my God. I don't even know what role he plays in this, but he's just there. Like he's just like in the room with everybody. Oh my gosh. The brass proponent would legitimately, if the brass proponent was here, it would legitimately be uh, part of this for sure. Full track has the same color palette as Bud Light, and your MC Knight sticker is reminiscent of the Bud. I never thought about that. Oh my gosh, you're exactly right. My Metal Knight helmet sticker is very reminiscent of the Bud Light Knight. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Well, now there's some fortitude surrounding the full track and my bias towards Hinder and I. You guys are gonna have to battle hard there. That's not even fair. Should I say that out loud? Oh. Well, whatever. It's my show. ODT probably should just go. Uh, <laughs> just dismissing it so quickly. Hello, knife guys and gals. Hello, Eric. What's up, man? Um, dilly dilly. 
cold steel. Next YouTube video is going to be Lynn cutting up Thanos cardboard cutouts. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Listen to this. Justin Hunt coming in with some serious logic here. Para 3 is unbalanced. First time I've ever heard uh, tonight somebody play into the logic of Thanos. He's obsessed with balance. Compelling argument against the Para 3. Oh, that's fun. That's fun that you pointed that out. Um, now I kind of want to get rid of the Para 3 because it's pro you're probably right. It probably is the least balanced knife out here. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, get Rex for sure. That was a bazooka to the face for the pair of three. I kind of thought the pair of three would be a weird sleeper, but you might have just done it in. Wait a second. Was I supposed to eliminate a knife one minute ago? Have I been not paying attention? Yeah, I was supposed to eliminate a knife. Guys, is it time? Am I supposed to eliminate a knife? Um, yeah, it's time for me to eliminate one. And I'm going to say that, that that was enough just to let you guys know how, like, how potent comments like that can work against a knife. If you, if, if it's something clever like that, I will eliminate a knife just because it's entertaining. You guys think I'm entertaining you? No, you guys are entertaining me. I'm going to eliminate the pair of three. I know. I'm so sorry. People are going to be so mad at me. Um, yeah, John Duncan, he knew. Um, para 3 is gone because, like um, Justin the Hunter said, it is imbalanced. It, I, and I'll admit that. It's the least balanced knife out here. The Para 3 is gone. I'm sorry. You're fired. Uh, what does that lady say? Um, I don't know. It's that old show where that, that old lady with the short red hair is like, you're, you're gone or you're, you know, goodbye. Like, she's like super... Uh, uh, she's super, uh, just passive aggressive and dismissive in an unceremonious way. Um, <laughs> I love the pair of three Maximet. I don't know what the heck show I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, we got three minutes because I'm getting distracted and falling behind. Um, we got three minutes. So if your warrior is still out here, convince me. I'll tell you right now, I'm leaning towards the ODT. It can only survive so long unless somebody's voted for it and gives me a really... <sighs> Excuse me. Compelling argument. <laughs> Pocket tank. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Which knife? You know what? I'm not going to let sleepers live. What knife is sleeping right now? Which knife is just sitting back there like, I got this. Nobody's talking about me. If you know that one of your choices is sitting here sleeping pretty on the table, right? And there's another knife that's not been talking about that you did not vote for. That's sleeping on the table. Start, you know, then give me a reason not to have it. Uh, second from the top right. That's the Robert Carter Custom. I'll tell you right now, that's the most expensive knife on the table. That was from Mr. Spirited Whiskey. Hmm, hmm. We have two minutes. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Yeah, there, there you go. Thanos showed fingers can deploy the Guardian Tactical. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, the Guardian is the only OTF, and Thanos uh, Dagger and Guardians was an OTF, but there are some knives on this screen I don't even recognize. Should I go over them again? Hinderer Full Track, $600 knife. We have a, um, Jim Skelton Custom, um, Hellraiser. I'm gonna guess it's somewhere between six to eight hundred. We have a, um, a, uh, Carver, uh, or I'm sorry, a Jason Carter. Oh my gosh, I'm messing that up. It's a Carter Custom, probably $1,400, $1,500. Curse, Curtis ODT, three to four hundred. Rainbow Lady of the Sea, she's uh, uh, worth as much money as you, uh, whatever the mind can imagine. We have um, the Guardian Tactical Recon 35. This is a $270 knife. And we have the um, Arcane Design Necronaut Prototype that is yet to be determined on value. Uh, let's see here. Yes, watch the uh, Metal Complex channel. We guys, we have one minute. ODT is the weakest link. You you guys are getting me with the weakest link thing. <laughs> oh my goodness! I feel like that's the one that I'm gonna get rid of. Are we calculating the time properly? 
35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, right now I am going to be getting rid of the ODT. It's time. I'm sorry. ODT, it doesn't make sense. It's it's kind of a miracle that the ODT lasted as long as it did. Um, you know, given that I me with a, a, a mortal's hands, ha I have to deploy it like this. I have to. I love this knife. Jeff gave this to me. And I, and I honestly carry it all the time. Uh, at least once a week. Um, but uh, it just doesn't make th sense for Thanos. But that's why I brought it out here. Because I thought, this is ridiculous. Why would Thanos... Thanos would lose this, like, just immediately. <laughs> or, or swallow it accidentally, you know? Um, hey, hey, guys. Just in. Hope I didn't miss much. What's the crack? Um, so, these are the warriors that are left. For anybody who's just joining... These are the ones that are left. You, In order to actually win one of the prizes here, which is one of my Metal Complex other stickers, you had to arrive in the first 15 minutes, make your vote, list your vote on my Instagram post, and then convince me to not get rid of your vote on the table, either with logic or complete nonsense. It doesn't matter. There are no rules. The theme here is Thanos gave away, clearly gave away his EDC to Gamora when he first met her. The twin-sided single-action OTF, which makes no sense. So he no longer has an EDC. Which knife makes the most sense for Thanos to EDC uh, during his uh, conquest um, to end or, you know, delete half of the universe and acquire the Infinity Stones? I guess one of those should have acquired the Infinity Stones and then delete half the universe. So um, we have left the um, Carter, the Jim Skelton Hellraiser, the Full Track, the Rainbow Lady of the Sea, the Recon 35 and the Arcane Design Necronaut. Hmm. <laughs> you like that? Um, that was my uh, that was my choice. My my brain goes in a million different directions, so I'm glad. I mean, like maybe I forcibly like you know, imply that people had to select my scenario because other people other people had some great scenarios, um, but uh, I just like <laughs> I just kind of was like, mine's really good. You guys should vote for mine. Um, the Hellraiser has to go. It's not the right movie. Hmm. That's a good point. It's not even the right movie. Doesn't make sense? Doesn't matter. Because that's the name of the game. Right now, for whatever reason, I, I'm just kind of locked in on that comment. Hellraiser is a different movie, right? It's not even from the same universe. Crazy, right? <laughs> we know what John Duncan voted for. Uh, truthfully, you know, in terms of actual, like, reality, the Hellraiser is an amazing knife. I'm I'm shocked that somebody can go from reviewer. I mean, as much as he knew, as he obviously knows about knives, somebody can just, like, transition like that, you know? I mean, it wasn't immediate, but that guy was like, I'm reviewing knives. Now I make knives. Now I'm a legendary knife maker. I mean, this thing is the real deal. If you didn't watch my review on Thanks would clearly take the skeleton as it would be the most balanced EDC knife and size wouldn't matter on his eight foot plus frame. He could carve and stab his enemy's soul with it. Um, it is definitely the most durable knife on the table. I don't know if that's more compelling to me than the fact that it's not from the right movie. <laughs> um, only fixed blades are strong enough for Thanos. Hmm. <laughs> Rainbow Lady, the EDC Ginger, are you for or against Rainbow Lady? You're just yelling Rainbow Lady. Maybe that's a strategy. If size matters, the full track takes the cake. You would vote for the full track, but you're also playing on my bias for Hinderer Knives, which I'm very much trying to struggle with. Jedi Master says Lynn Thompson would pull his exiled spot out of his pants and rip a hole through space time to decapitate Thanos before Thor dies. I. Maybe, I, again, I'm not sure how, like where Lynn Thompson fits in on this, but it's, it is funny that he is just like part of this. <laughs> oh, God, the visuals in my brain are just making me laugh so hard. Thanos gives away his auto. We got one minute, so he's done with autos. OTF has to go. Also compelling. Phil Thanos would rip that flipper on his first flip. Um, what if you just use the stones to make each knife Thanos size? Oh, Justin, again, with the insane logic that applies to that universe. The ODT could have continued to exist. Okay, so I'll tell you what. 
That combined, I was just thinking like maybe he's done with autos because he gave away an auto. Somebody said the thing about size, and I was thinking, well, that's double negative against this because it's uh, an automatic and it's kind of smaller than this and so strong. But if he can make any knife any size he wants, maybe he wouldn't get rid of that. And maybe he gave it away. Maybe he really, really loved it. I mean, his love for Gamora was obviously, I mean, he taught, that's, that's how he got one of the stones was giving away something that he loved. So maybe it was a genuine gift, right? Maybe that's why he gave away his OTF. Not because he didn't like the OTF, because he loved her. So sadly, this is going to go. Because all of a sudden, this is the train that I've chosen to board, right? And that comment, Justin the Hunter with that comment, you know, going with the logic of that universe. If he has the stones, he has the reality stone, he can make any knife, any size or durability that he wants. So the fact that in this physical universe, right, the Jim Skelton uh, custom is technically the most durable, it wouldn't matter to Thanos. God, that's going to make some people mad. They're like, what the F? Stupid, stupid game, right? <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. So many people mad. I'm sorry. It's not funny. But that's the name of the game here. You guys blame Justin. Don't blame me. This is, uh, you're supposed to, look at all the people dropping out. They're like, F this game. <laughs> F this stupid game and this stupid channel. Why would he even play a game like this? Why? So that nobody can criticize the, uh, <laughs> nobody can criticize this. Nobody can ever jump into my live stream and go, you know, you're a sham and you don't know what you're talking about. Nobody knows what they're talking about because this is a uh, hypothetical game based on fictitious nonsense. And if I keep using words with three or more syllables, everybody will think I'm really smart, right? Yeah, everybody blame Justin. <laughs> Justin has figured out what I will respond to. Um, that's uh, that's what's happening here. <laughs> it's uh, just whatever will make me think and, and dive into the layers of it and laugh. Okay, guys, it's 9.37. I talked for two minutes. Um, about how smart I think that I am and clearly am not. Uh, we have five knives left. I, I do like pointing out that we clearly have some sleepers here. I like to mix it up. But I know that there are people laying low and being silent. There are people who haven't left a single comment and they're just sitting back there like the, the villain from Inspector Gadget who just sits in that chair and pets his cat all day and looks at a bunch of TV screens. That's what you're doing. You're just letting your knife lay there, not saying anything. Um, <laughs> Vortex 5XG, I don't know. Just ask Justin and he'll know what knife will go. <laughs> Lindy Lou says, can we sacrifice another knife to resurrect the Hellraiser? I'm... <sighs> no, no, I was just... You're playing... Uh, you're, you're trying to get me to think Infinity Stones. Here's the problem with the Infinity Stones. They have infinity outcomes, right? Somebody needs to get Doctor Strange involved with this to essentially end this, you know, multiple universe thing where, like, anything's possible. And somebody uses that to leverage one of their knives coming back to life because we'll be here forever. So the fact that Doctor Strange exists, no. Lindy, I'm so appreciative of you always coming to my live streams. But no, the fact that Doctor Strange exists in this universe, right, means that he foresaw the future and would have prevented this. Just like he did, kind of, in the movie. I think the auto spring does um, does not have an infinity lifespan. It certainly doesn't. I'm the cat guy, but I've talked LOL. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Lady of the Sea, not the universe. Um, definitely true. Somebody playing on the Lay's realm of power. Last time it was the Earth. This time it's limited to the sea. Zelby will the Carter custom is too nice and he wouldn't want to damage it in any way. Possibly, but I feel like Thanos is pretty reckless and doesn't have any real care for anything material. He just sees everything as a utility. I don't know. Hmm. Alex Nightbox, Thanos would use a peasant grade knife. Obviously, the NCC is the knife. The NCC. What is the NCC? I don't know what that is. Jedi Master. I'm skipping a bunch. I'm sorry. Metal Complex is the best knife reviewer. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I don't think I'm the best, but I certainly won't argue with people who say that on my live stream. 
Thank you. That's really nice. Um, let's see here. And Lindy Lou made a good point. Prototype might not be the best idea. Uh, convince me to toss the prototype. I'm curious about that. Oh, it's 940. It's time to give one out. I haven't even considered it. Um, you know what? Just because I'm just, uh, it's in the moment. Can't use the Carter Custom. If Optimus Prime carried a knife, it would have to be the Ontario Knives Carter Prime. That's true. It doesn't have, it doesn't really apply to the situation. But the truth is, is I really can't see the, it being exactly the right thing for Thanos. And it is, I, I, I don't know. I mean, this is a beautiful knife. And this is definitely, I mean, like, this would be hard for me to put down on this table. I mean, this might be the one that I would pick, even over this guy. But in terms of Thanos, for whatever reason, it just makes me think less Thanos than anything else on the table. I'm not saying Thanos wouldn't be okay with this. I'm just saying... It's just, I can see Thanos choosing all of these over the other ones. Why? I don't know. Whatever. It's my game. That's just what I think right now. Um, oh, it's also a custom knife, and it's very expensive, and I'm nervous about it being on the table. <laughs> ah, yeah. Eliminate. <laughs> Do you guys like how I blow up the whole el elimination thing, and I make it seem, like, super intense, and it's, like, really dark and dramatic, and then it's just, you get here, and it's just utter nonsense? Because that's exactly what I'm doing. Bye. Um, we have four warriors left. Let's get them. Um, let's get them lined up here, guys. I feel like we have. I feel like people are, are like subconscious. I feel like people are like really trying to drive. There's two knives that I feel like people are really, really trying to keep alive. Some salty. Um, a few of you, you know, salty sailors who had uh, your knives eliminated are like, well then I'm rooting for this one. <laughs> and you're really trying to keep them, keep them there. Why is the mermaid still in this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not really sure how it applies to Thanos, but nobody has really given me a reason to get rid of it yet. Tantos are for Lynn Thompson. Eliminate the Tanto. <laughs> are we? Is Lynn Thompson a positive figure in this fictitious scenario, or is he like, is he like, is he a negative? I don't know. I'm not really sure how he fits into this. Thanks, Zell, for making that really confusing, adding that dynamic. Thanos already has... Excuse me. Oh. Ouch, that hurt. Thanos could not... Wait, darn it. Thanos already has a supersized version of the arcane prototype, so he doesn't need a puny version of the same blade shape. Oh, my goodness. You're right. His war glaive, yes... I'm a huge nerd. You got, hey, sir, you guys want to know something about me? Like, um, you guys, I mean, everybody's seen my picture on Instagram, that douchey pic of me in the gym flexing, right? Truthfully, the reason that I spend so much time in the gym is to hide how much of a gigantic nerd I am. I used to play World of Warcraft, hardcore, so I know what a Warglaive is, and I'm ashamed to admit that. I'm not going to do that thing where I'm like, ooh, it's cool to be a nerd. Like, no, truthfully, it's still kind of shameful for me to admit that I spent... 1600 hours in world of warcraft oh my goodness i'm gonna regret that tomorrow saying that on a live stream um but i know what a warglaive is and that's what he's wielding is a, a warglaive and, and um kyle is exactly right um wow how cool am i right oh i sound so cool i know what that is god i'm just like my tongue tastes bad now for all those stupid words having just come out of my mouth that is exactly the same blade shape that is on his twin-sided warglaive um, people are laughing at me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so right now I feel like I might eliminate the arcane design neck or not, but I'll tell you what, Israel will be really happy that it made it to the final four. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, bye bye, arcane. <laughs> well, you guys got two, you guys got one minute to convince me of something else, so so let's fight, right? I know it's the same 40 people in here who've been in here the whole time. That's fine with me. Oh, oh my gosh. The irony, Justin. Your arguments have been so compelling. And Kyle Roberts coming in with a super, super haymaker. <laughs> oh, no. What's going to happen? Nobody's saying anything. They're just yelling. Everyone's yelling and panicking. Oh, it's horrible. Prototype and go. Um, the arcane is ugly. It reminds Thanos that he's ugly. He won't eat. He see it. Oh, another haymaker blow. Thanos cannot fondle your lady. <laughs> That's awful.
awful. Oh no, it's 45. Dude, the Warglaive comment got me. That brought me back to World of Warcraft. Um, yeah, I. Oh, it's sad because I, for whatever reason, I was kind of personally going for this, but you guys played on my emotions. You guys played on nostalgia. Kyle Roberts didn't realize it that that would have any connection whatsoever with World of Warcraft and result in the elimination of the um, the Necronaut. Uh, but it is eliminated. Just know that this is no way, shape, or form, you know, my, uh, that I feel like it's inferior to these other guys. Anybody who's just joining, this game has nothing to do with logic or reality. It's complete nonsense. Unfortunately, the Necronaut has been eliminated. Oh, Justin, I'm sorry. You had some great, but listen, you had some really great uh, points there that really drove me. And that's the one that I was thinking, I was like, man, that Necronaut is a sleeper. That's the one that I kept saying. You know, I didn't want to be like, hey, convince me to get rid of that Necronaut. I don't want to say that. But I just noticed, I was like, nobody's talking about that prototype, right? Bud Light Knife has to go. Thanos loves craft microbrews. See, here's the weird thing about the Hinder. So part of me wants to get rid of it to prove that I'm not so biased for Hinderer Knives that I would intentionally choose it in a game that's not based on logic and where I'm, I'm like laying out the foundation of the game, like, let's all have fun and be ridiculous. And then they're like, oh, you know, Complex tries to make a game out of it, but he still chooses the effing hinder knife at the end of it. That So I'm fighting against my emotions there. Okay, let's end this. The hinderer would hinder the stone's power. And the rainbow lady with the stones is too much power. And what's better than a single action and upgrade to a double action? The fact that you put two little men, or two little, what are those, acorns with sunglasses? I'm not really sure what they are, what 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 form they take. But for whatever reason, I'm feeling now that I don't like the Hinder as much as the Rainbow Lady. Odd, though, that the Guardian Tactical has just remained unscathed. I would choose the Hinder. Now, if pre-snap full track stays, can't have a full track pre-snap. What? <laughs> Exton dying. The Ender is a great knife. It is. Uh, <laughs> emotions are not a good basis of the best option. Well, maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. It's this. There's no rules. The Hinderer must win. If you don't choose the Hinderer, we will just think you're trying to prove you aren't biased by choosing something else, even though the Hinderer really deserves to win. How dare you play reverse psychology on me? Now I feel like I have to choose it. Emoticons. <laughs> Rainbow Lady, hinder by the mermaid. It's freaking guardian of the freaking galaxy. It cannot be Thanos' choice. <laughs> Thanos, everybody's like losing their mind right now. Um, we have, do we have two minutes? Wait a minute, 50, 55, oh, yeah. So we got two minutes here. At this point, my topic is gone. And the next logical choice, the Dalika is gone. You have to keep the Rainbow Lady. It complements the gauntlet and stones. The mermaid is what happens when you try to forge, but you roll a six. <laughs> oh, God. I can't even talk about why I, I think that's funny. Um, guardians are not Thanos' preferred team. His daughter left him for Guardians. I just understand why people keep saying Guardians, because this is a Guardian tech. I was like, what? Why are we talking about the Guardians? Okay, now I get it. Uh, my page keeps refreshing every two seconds this blog. I'm sorry. Um, Hinderer doesn't match Thanos' helmet. He gave away his EDC because... and Because why? Um, Thanos is almost as big as Lynn Thompson. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, he loves super ultra tactical knives, so the OTF should win. That's a good... That's fortifying the, um, the Guardian touch. We've got one minute here. Mermaid has made a Puru metal. Get it out. <laughs> Who is Thanos the rock guy? No, Thanos is a purple guy. Darn it, Duncan. How dare you? I'm just kidding. It's cool. Some people really don't like the Marvel movies, and I, I understand. It's not like they're the most the most cinematically like, you know, not that I'm like an incredible critic, right? I can barely review a knife let alone sit here and tell you what movies you guys should and shouldn't watch. Thanos equals purple Homer Simpson. That's There you go. That's the best review of that movie I've ever heard. Lynn Thompson's knife is bigger than Thanos. 
We have less than one minute. Thanos is the adult version of that purple guy from McDonald's. Yes, that's true. The Lady of the Sea is the Guardian of the Sea, but Thanos needs a Guardian of the Galaxy. <laughs> Puru Metal as opposed to Uru Metal. <laughs> he started Revolution, but only his mom and his stepdad showed up. So I, I, I can't tell you guys exactly why I'm choosing the knife to eliminate here. I can't tell you why I, I am, but, but I just am. For whatever reason, I just feel like Thanos would eliminate the full track. And I know there are so many people who are like, I want you, I want to delete Metal Complex. Um, but uh, I just, for whatever reason, given everything that everybody said, there just wasn't enough for me. Maybe I was subconsciously rooting for this guy so I wouldn't, so people wouldn't think that I would choose this one. I have no idea. But I went with my gut, and my gut told me it was time to let the full track go. And I'm pretty sure that Kyle Roberts, yeah, oof. <laughs> everybody's mad. You can't be mad because this game's not based on logic. But I know everybody's still having a good time, right? Listen, at the end of the day, I mean, I mean, listen, I know the stickers are super cool, right? <laughs> They're super cool. But at the end of the day, all you missed out on was the sticker. I'm so sorry, but for whatever reason, I just had to eliminate the um, the full track. So, guys, here it is. Um, weirdly enough, I, I honestly, I mean, part of me kind of thought, and maybe I've set myself up for this, like, subconsciously. But I thought, for whatever reason tonight, the Randall lady is really going to go. And it has. And so maybe, and maybe that's unfair. Maybe my mindset bolstered the Rainbow Lady. I don't know. Um, but what's surprising is that the Guardian Tactical made it. Um, I don't know where we went too quickly. It seems like I was supposed to be eliminating the last knife at exactly 10 o'clock. So here's what we're going to do, guys. You got eight whole minutes to convince me of either this guy or this guy or Dow. Um, whoever they, they're both, they can both be male or female. I don't really care. Either makes sense now because Thanos was clearly hydrated while choosing his EDC. Uh, Kyle Roberts is not happy <laughs> about, the, about the result here. I can't even laugh. I'm like, this is so absurd to me that this is that I'm doing this right now for, it's just me and 40 people. And I'm so happy to be doing this. Um, <laughs> is this, Hey, I know this is only the second time I've done this, and not many people showed up for this tonight, but if you guys are having fun, I will keep doing this. Is I mean, everybody who's in here, I mean, obviously, I feel like I'm answering my own question. You guys have probably been in here for an hour, but is this something you guys want me to keep doing on the channel? Because if so, then I will. Keep OTF. Not much of, you know, a description or, you know, there, there's no real argument there, but Muhammad Amar is just saying keep OTF. And I, I'm just focused on that for whatever whatever reason. So, yeah, compelling argument so far. Yes, it's a lot of fun. Good. I'm, I'm happy you guys are having fun. Um, why would he choose the mermaid? It gets scratched way too easy. Thanos would want something that he could abuse. Like, oh, I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> but but that's, um, that's definitely, uh, I, I see your point there. <laughs> oh, God. i got to be careful about what I read. Um... Why would Thanos downgrade to just a one-bladed OTF? That's true. But why would he downgrade to any knife that only had one blade if that was his foundation, right, for reason? Zell Beaverly, OTF has two cutting edges so he can kill twice as many people. <laughs> why would he want to kill double when he's only supposed to kill half, though, Zell? You gotta come at this with the, whatever logic that's being applied in my mind at that exact moment. But if he could be twice as efficient in killing half the people in existence, existence with the Guardian Tactical, then perhaps two edges might be a way to go. Okay, Zell, no, that comment's redeemed because it got me to think, and that's for whatever reason the conclusion I've arrived at. We have now officially bolstered the Guardian Tactical with logic that I've come up with on my own because of, for an ironic reason. So everybody can be mad at Zell if you voted for Rainbow Lady. Mermaid Magic, you just gonna believe. SpongeBob movie. 
<laughs> oh, this is not this is not a reason at all, <laughs> but it but it is though right now. And he and your your knife is already gone, Justin. So it's just oh my gosh, this people have got this figured out. What is happening here? Yeah, um, Zach, you're you're late in the game here. We got five minutes, and the two knives that have survived as the most likely pick for Thanos' new EDC because he gave away his twin-sided OTF to Gamora uh, as a consolement prize. Well, you know, instead of watching half of her, of society die on her planet, she was, uh, you know, sort of compelled by the 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 balance metaphor that he was um, using the OTF uh, as an example for. Um, so, yeah. So now we have the we've we've eliminated um, seven knives and have come down to the Rainbow Lady and the Guardian Tactical OTF. And everybody has four minutes to convince me which knife should remain. And the people who have chosen one or the other will have a chance to win one of three stickers. Yay! Hellraiser for the win. I know. I feel bad that I had to eliminate that guy. Um, let's see here. Kill the mermaid. <laughs> people. People have not, like, people have lost all will to give me a reason, and they're just like, you know, burn her! Like, destroy that one. Just, like, there's no reason people are just, like, getting aggressive. Um, hey, when we carry knives in here, too. Uh, two channels you guys should definitely check out, along with Neve, not, Neve's Knives. I am i don't know if they're still in here. I, I might have eliminated their choice. Um, that's the downside to playing this game, is that once your choice is eliminated, it's like, why even stay in here, you know? Oddly enough, though, we do have more people in here now than we did when we started. Hey, what's up? Uh, mermaids need water, no water in space. Yes, but there are... Does Thanos need water? I don't know. Does Thanos need or not need... The fact that he does or does not need water, does that make any difference in terms of choosing the rainbow i don't know well if she needs water are we deciding that her power is drawn from the sea specifically in this universe i don't know cpm rainbow steel is rivaled only by the forge of nevillar <laughs> is that did i pronounce that correctly can't drink the mermaid <laughs> can you drink the can you drink the recon 35 We've never seen Thanos drink water. That's true. I've never seen Thanos drink or eat anything. People of the internet earlier, this stream you deemed me king of the internet. Now as your king, I command you to keep the OTF and kill the mermaid. Muhammad Amar coming in with a sledgehammer of a comment. We did bestow upon him that title, guys. And for whatever reason, I'm granting him that power um, because it's <laughs> because it's making me laugh. No, Thanos does not need sustenance, but if he did, he would need a toothpick. The Guardian would make a great Thanos toothpick. That is a, that's compelling. That's compelling. Um, I'm glad that I'm making you laugh. Gregory, by the way, your stickers are on the way. And yes, I said stickers, you have multiple on the way. Um, he slayed earlier. Yeah, he did. That cracked me up. Thanos snaps and brings back the arcane and makes the other disappear people playing on the reality stone thing now. don't mess with me i'm intentionally only having one okay three uh beverages of hydration during this live stream so now i've changed my mind down with the king kill the otf <laughs> it's funny how your primal instincts kick in with this game and people get really aggressive zach stuff Zach stuff with the only donation. Long live the king. Is the king the guardian tactical? Um, I didn't want to ever imply it, but like you know, somebody. No, I'm not going to imply that. Uh, Zach, thank you so much for the donation. Um, no part of me is going to imply that if you make a donation and leave a comment, that it's going to sway me. But I kind of am already in favor 